So, Bon Zone Ho, he won the best. His movie, Parasite, was a South Korean movie, won Best Picture and a various other awards at the Oscars. And his acceptance speech was the least woke of them all. Because in Asia, yes, in Asia, they don't they don't care about this stuff, okay? And I'm surprised all the SCOs are not angry at this, because, you know, Japan don't care about wokeness, Korea does not care about wokeness, okay? Taiwan does not care about wokeness, and all these countries in Asia do not care about wokeness, okay? They actually push back against wokeness. Woke movies, you know, for example, Black Panther did a biz movie in Japan. A biz movie in Japan. No one watched Black Panther in Japan, okay? Oscars, read Bongzo, and here's the acceptance speech. And the acceptance speech is what all acceptance speech should be. Okay, you know, and instead of, you know, oh, we should be woke woke, woke, woke! Okay, like Phoenix's speech, okay? He become the first Asian nominee to win a Best Virtual Screenplay, and actually, you know, six Oscar nominations include Best Production Design and Best Picture, he had an important exception of all, he thanked each of his fellow nominees for his proof how it impact the ad on his career. Thank you for winning Best International Feature. I thought I was done for, for the day and I was ready to react. Thank you so much that when I was young, I was studying cinema, and there was a saying that I carved deep into my heart, and that is the most personal and that is the most creative. That quote is from Martin Sarkeesy. When I was in school, I, I still I don't understand why Martin Sarkeesy does not like Marvel movies. I know it's his opinion. He says that Marvel movies are not cinema. Some of them clearly are, you know. Can, like, yes, certain Marvel movies, yes, they are not cinema. Like, Captain Marvel is not anything. It's boring. It's painfully boring, okay? But if a movie has a good story, it has, it's good cinema. To, to me, it is, okay? If a movie has a good story, it's good cinema. If it has a bad story, it's not good cinema. So, movies like Captain Marvel, Cats is not good cinema. The Lion King remake is not good cinema, especially, okay? You know. And when I was in school, some of my skeezy films would be nominated for a huge honor. I never thought I would win. People in the US are not familiar with my film, Quit Tears is all for my his films on his list. And here's here, thank you so much, Quit and I love you. And Todd Phillips to stand me is a great director that I admire and the Academy Files. I would like to get a Texas Chainsaw and split the award into five and sell or if you thank you, I'll thank it till next morning. Thank you. So this is one thing that you know you'll never see these people. Say, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I you know, I won't be surprised though people on Twitter complain about hit the speech because it's not woke. Parasite's not a woke movie. It's a movie and that's why Parasite probably won, because Parasite is a movie that attended to tell a story and it was a good story and it is bored by many people. Okay? Many people went to go see it. Many people say it saw far was a good movie. It was good. It was great enough to win Best Picture. Unlike all the other Oscars, I think that Parasite is actually one of the first in a while movies to win Best Picture that actually deserved it. The only movie that I think could have got Best Picture was Once Upon a Time Howard 1917, and the only movie that could have got it was Joker for v Wally. But those movies are the only movies that could have deserved Best Picture as well. And I know Oscars don't really go based on gross, and they never did, okay? The only a few times that the highest goal to the movie of the year actually won Best Picture. I think World of the Rings Return of the King won Best Picture. I think Titanic won Best Picture. And those movies won Best Picture, and, it's the, and, they, and I think very back in the 1970s, uh, I think that Blazing Saddles, I think, won Best Picture as well. He was a surprise wins on Sunday, helped redefine the narrative of Cavi on South Korea Fellow Parasite took home four sets to add to Korean four top accurate best picks in direct. The, and the thing is, they're going to complain about, you know, they're saying, you know, this because the movie, Parasite, isn't really that diverse. I know people say, oh, but it's a dude, it's just diverse, you know, it's not diverse, it's mostly people from, it's, the cast is basically 100% Korean, 100% the same group of people. And, but the whole point of the movie was to tell a good story, and that and that's basically what it is. It isn't trying to have some woke narrative, you know, have, you know, some woke garbage narrative that no one cares about, okay? Like, you know, the rat, you know, they actually did try to tell a good story, and some of the movies on though, I said to have no chance of winning, like, you know, you know, um, Little Woman, because it's woke. No, there's a movie that, oh, we you making it to be woke, okay? And of course, you know, <laughs> it's just like, but now let's see how the most 
everybody's favorite site is talking about, you know, the movie, okay? If I can see how the five people on Twitter is reacting, okay? And of course we have here, Parasite Team is a destruction of America. No, it isn't. You're honoring a movie that got an award. That, you know, a movie that is that told a good story. That's basically what they did, okay? Yeah, I go, I sometimes visit here to see how, how terrible. So, Parasite Trent is here. Parasite took on four Oscars last night, topped the leaderboard for the entire Oscar award season. It's got 99%. Well, according to watch Bills, yes, okay, I, they actually updated the list of best movies, and according to them, Us is in among the greatest of movies, according to them, okay? You know, top the leaderboard. I wouldn't be surprised if Ron Bales does influence the Oscars in some way. And of course, we could get, you know, and, you know, if it was, if, if it was Joker, people, they were, the tall people complain, oh my god, how dare they give, no, they don't give, jo gave Joker best picture, okay, you know, and they just see Bung Ho's Field of Masterpiece, I haven't seen any of his movies at all, he has definitely, but in the future I'll probably watch his movies, now his movies are on, on my watch right now, cause, I haven't seen, I haven't really seen any, you know, mo most foreign movies, only very few, with the mostly anime movies in here. And well, we're waiting in the same with other folks that agree it's the best film of the year. And even, even on, even the bias sites like the top tens, I even recognize this movie as the best movie, one of the best movies of the year. Even the top tens, with, you know, the really biased... It's in the top five movies of the year. The other movies are Endgame, which obviously all the Marvel fanboys put it on here. Joker, Once Upon a Time Hollywood, Parasite, Toy Story 4. You know, you have a lot of Disney bias on this site as well. And for some reason, Little Woman's here. There's like only one comment on here. Because, of course, the New York Times decided to, you know, make sure. Make sure. Little Woman's on the list. And we have even, you know, we also have another site as well. You know. As well, you know, here. So. And basically, that's what he did. You know. And Parasite didn't make history. And... The Oscars. And again, the reason why he probably gave the rest of his speech in Korean because he's not really that great at English. That's the thing. And of course, this is probably the worst take on Paris I have ever seen. Probably in the history of movies. And... And no one is complaining. For the first time in Oscar history, no one's complaining that their film didn't win. There's probably a few DC fanboys saying, oh, Joker sort of won, you know, DC fanboys, but. You know, they worked on making a movie, and they got recognized for the story, okay? For making a good movie. There has an you know movie that is you know disturbing that one and the shape of water movies that have some political message in them, you know, like for example Well Green Book and various other movies in the past few years, or movies that are basically, you know, trying to say, Oh, Hollywood is so awesome, Hollywood is so great, like a lot of, you know, movies that won in the twenty tens. Okay? You know. It, it, it is historic, because it's for once. For once, basically. They did not nominate some movie that was, you know, 
Oh my god, Hollywood so great or crazy woke movie that didn't deserve to be nominated for Best Picture at the least, or is a terrible movie like, you know, for example, let's not forget The Shape of Water was a te that was a terrible movie, okay? Shape of Water was terrible, okay? So that's basically it. So Parasite won Best Movie. Probably the best, probably the best, you know, one of the best acceptance speeches and probably. And I think, you know, Unlike both of the other movies that got Oscars, you know, so the other movies that got Oscars were, of course, 917 got an Oscar, few Oscars, Joker got two, and Once Upon a Time Howard got two, and so, and unsurprisingly, they had to give Little Woman at least one Oscar, because, of course, they popped up with a woman. They popped it up. They called it a masterpiece, okay? They called it a masterpiece, okay? You know, and... We'll go over Phoenix's acceptance speech in a, in a bit, but that's basically it. Goodbye.